This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the Born Harbor cycle for sodium oxide. So here we have the complete Born Harbor cycle for sodium oxide. Starting on the bottom left, we have the enthalpy change of formation. Next, we have the enthalpy of atomization of sodium. Note, we will multiply this value by two because we need two moles of gaseous sodium atoms. Next, we have the enthalpy of atomization of oxygen. Moving on, we have two times the first ionization energy of sodium. On the right, we have the first and second electron affinities of oxygen. And finally, we have the lattice enthalpy of sodium oxide. So in this video, we'll use this born harbor cycle to calculate the enthalpy of formation for sodium oxide. In this table, we have the values of the enthalpy changes, starting with the enthalpy of atomization of sodium. Note that we could also use the enthalpy of sublimation of sodium, which has the same value. Next, we have the enthalpy of atomization of oxygen. We could also use half the value for the bond energy of oxygen, which has the same value as the enthalpy of atomization. Next, we have the first ionization energy of sodium. After that, we have the first and second electron affinities of oxygen. And finally, we have the lattice enthalpy of sodium oxide. So next, we'll put these values into the born harbor cycle. So here we have the completed born harbor cycle together with the enthalpy change values. So according to Hess's law, the enthalpy change of formation of sodium oxide is equal to two times the enthalpy change of atomization of sodium plus the enthalpy of atomization of oxygen plus two times the first ionization energy of sodium plus the first and second electron affinities of oxygen minus the lattice enthalpy of sodium oxide. So next we'll use these values to calculate the enthalpy of formation for sodium oxide. So here we have the equation for the enthalpy of formation of sodium oxide together with the values. Note that we are multiplying the enthalpy of atomization and the first ionization energy of sodium by two. And this gives us an enthalpy of formation of sodium oxide of minus 461 kilojoules per mole.